All right, today I wanted to take you on a quick flip through and look inside of Gather Round's brand new Letters and Numbers Book One. If you're familiar with Gather Round, you know that they do unit study curriculum that is designed to be used with multiple ages within the same family. Now, Letters and Numbers is something completely new, brand new to their program that they have just added and it's a little bit different because this is not designed to be used with all ages. It is designed to be used basically with the preschool aged child, the child who does not yet know their letters and the sounds of the letters and is just being introduced to math concepts. So this is completely inclusive of science, Bible, social studies, art, as well as phonics and math at the preschool level. So this is just their preschool program. And this is a new addition for them because they uh, realized that they wanted to offer a phonics program that was really targeted at this young uh, age group that they needed shorter lessons for uh, some preschoolers. And they really wanted something that just met the specific needs of preschoolers. So each book in the Letters and Numbers series is going to have its own theme. This, the theme of this one is forest. Uh, and each one is gonna be following a habitat. So this is the teacher's guide. I'll take you for a look inside here. So there's the letter kind of explaining how this program works. I'll take you in a little bit closer. You can see the examples of pages that will be in the student workbook supply list, we have a skills checklist right here that you can fill out as your child goes through the program, a table of contents, this is the kind of writing line example that will be explained later on in the book, but we have some letters reach to the middle of the writing line, some letters go below the writing line, and others reach all the way up here to the top, like the antlers of a moose. So that's pretty neat. All right, so at the beginning of each week, you start the week with a snapshot of the week. And for each subject, they briefly cover what is going to be covered, both inside the teacher's guide and in the workbooks. So I do recommend looking through this. Sometimes there'll be a little bit of extra ideas or there might be some reasoning of why this topic is being covered. So this is a very helpful section. Then down here, they always have either um, a tip on reading with your child or else they have life skills or characters. So this is a section that alternates each week. So it'll be something a little bit different. Each lesson is just one page and at the top of the page, it shows you what are the topics of the three pages that your child will complete in the workbook. And then it has a one page lesson with a science paragraph and a little Bible paragraph. The Bible paragraphs often direct you toward reading a story in a Bible story book. And they recommend reading in a Bible story book just because when you're working with a preschool age child, it can be pretty difficult to read straight from the Bible. That's why we have awesome Bible story books. So um, in each week, they spend two days covering one animal. So in each week, two science topics are covered and they're both gonna be animals. So you get two days on a fox and two days on a wolf in the first week. I think this is a really uh, great system because trying to cover four animals in a week with a preschooler would be a lot. Covering one animal might get a bit boring um, depending on your child. So I think this is a great system. You get to learn about 26 different animals of the forest during the course of this program. So that is quite a few animals. This will be a lot of fun to go over. At the end of a four day week, there's a review section with three questions here, a little kind of hands-on kinesthetic activity and a prayer to read. And then you're on to the next week. So you have the what's being covered this week, what's important about what they're doing. Uh, this week's it's character building focus and then you're on to learning about squirrels. We have squirrels, then muskrats. So hopefully this is giving you an idea of what the teacher's guide is like. 
they include all real images, not illustrations of the animals in the teacher's guide, but actual pictures. Which I think is really cool, especially since you're learning a science topic. You want kind of actual images of what the animal looks like. So we're going through quite a variety of different types of animals of the forest. And it just follows in this rhythm of four day weeks with a weekly snapshot at the beginning and a review at the end. Beautifully designed. You can just sit down and read this page with your child. It won't take long. And after you read each day's lesson, then they can work in their student book. Student book is a bit longer. Um, they have three pages for each day and they continue at a very specific rhythm. So you learn one new letter each week. So I think the pages begin more simple, which makes sense to me because that your preschooler's youngest at the beginning of the year. They work on pre-writing skills with different directional lines to trace. You begin learning zero. You have um, these are messy art pages where you're supposed to cut out the letter or the number and then decorate it using glitter, paint, all that hands-on messy kind of stuff. Some parents hate it. I kind of love it. I like the, like the hands-on stuff a lot. I just don't want to be sitting in a workbook all the time, so I like that opportunity. And we're learning phonics sound here. Finding the letter A, we include both types of A's for the student to find, for the child to find. Here's a social, social studies page about homes. So we're seeing a lot of fun stuff. In here, I'm noticing that my printer printed it wrong because this is a cutout page and it's supposed to be um, not on the back of this. I don't think, I think the PDF is fine. It's just, looks like what happened was they didn't, they printed the cover separately and so it kind of messed up the file. But I'm going to have to figure out that for using this myself. <laughs> But I'm really liking this. Let me see. Where was I? Well, we skipped some things, but there's F. We're going over shapes here. Patterns. We're, so you can see that the forest animals are included all throughout. We've got some maps. Map work. Matching sounds. So we're going to have a lot of fun with this I think there's beautiful illustrations I do I did want to show you what's in the appendix of the teacher's guide in the appendix there are there's a page where you can see all the letter friends that are covered which this goes A through M it goes through the first 13 letters of the alphabet and it goes through on numbers 0 through 6 so that's really cool and also we have all the flashcards, just very simple flashcards that can be cut out and used. And then they have some extra pages for cutting out numbers, which will be a lot of fun to use for those messy art activities. This really includes a lot of creative and fun activities, like here, cut out the top half of a number and put it on, which I'm... <laughs> A little bit sad that my printer printed this wrong, so I'm going to have to get that reworked. Um, but I think, it's, I think they just messed up by printing the cover separately. That's what I'm guessing happened. Uh, but this is a really beautiful book, uh, but I wanted to just show you, let you see how it works. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, do um, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. If you'd like to see more of the resources I'm planning on using together with this to fill out the forest theme, let me know in the comments below. Bye!